So we can save above one, one and a half second by eliminating, eliminating render blocking. First, let's, let's look at it on uh, the web page test application and see these, these resources. The font, CSS file, and the JavaScript file. Okay, so web page test. So there are 14 tests be, before it, but let's uh, give a look at these files. Okay, so we had the font. We have your font and the font can save us 750. We have the jQuery CSS. I'm not sure that we even use it. And we have the jQuery mean. And I'm also, let's see if we're using it. I'm not sure that I'm, we are using both of them. There is a tool that, that can help us understand if a JavaScript or CSS file is not used. So let's, let's invoke it, okay? So let's take the URL. Let's invoke Chrome. Okay, and now let's go to the dev tools to make this appear. This, this uh, menu tab to appear. And you can do the following, Control Shift P and right here, show. coverage here okay and now you need to click this okay so and what you can see very interesting what is shown here is how many bytes is used by the application and if they are not used they are unused so we want to look for the 100. So the jQuery UI CSS is not used. And the, the font also are not used. So we can remark them, okay? You see, jQuery CSS is not used and fonts, okay? So let's simply remark them. Okay, so J query we can remark this, it is not used. And font. Okay, let's remark this, invoke it again. Okay, let's go to Chrome, refresh it. Okay, and let's invoke it. Control Shift P, show coverage okay we invoke it again and if you look here on the unused nothing is 100% okay so let's push it git add minus a git commit minus m remove and used CSS jQuery and font. Go 
mit. Git, push. Let's see if it's ready on Vercel. So, we had before eliminate render blocking resources. And, and the fact that it's not used, is not, the, the browser does not know it because it appears on the, on the HTML file, so it is loading. So let's invoke it now. Okay, we see, okay, we don't see a big change, but we do see that the both resources do not appear here. So we will hand jQuery in in the next lesson.